General Mills is on a journey to always make our cereals better. How? Be responsible. We have committed to sustainably source 100% of our cereal boxes by 2020, giving back. Since 1996, our cereals have given more than 175 million to America's schools through box tops for education. That's why Cinnamon Toast Crunch kicks. Cocoa Puffs Ice Cream Scoops, Girl Scouts Caramel Crunch Cereal, Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Honey Nut Checks, Chocolate Checks, Cinnamon Checks, Very Berry Cheerios, Lucky Charms, Mocha Crunch, Golden Grams, Reese's Puffs, Blueberry Checks, has whole grain as the first ingredient. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or flavors, and nine grams of sugar per serving. But wait, so many of you complain online that we're bringing back classic tricks as no one seems to like those unartificial flavors and colors. Yeah, we understand our cereal is ugly. Yeah, we understand it doesn't taste as good as it used to. So here, have the cereal you want. It's coming out this October. It's gonna be sold alongside normal tricks. And that's the beginning of the new revolution cereal? Cereal companies reformulating their cereals is not a new thing. Just ask the people who used to love honeycomb how much they like the new honeycomb. I have a video, it's one of my most popular videos because people hate the new honeycomb. Now, I don't think posts reformulated to make it more healthy. Most times these things are done because it's cheaper and easier to produce, but people hate it. And there's even a petition on change.org to get it changed back to the old stuff. And I'm not one to disagree. I don't think the new honeycomb are very good at all, to be honest. But that's just one of the casualties in the reformulating war. I did a whole video recently about Reese's Puffs and how I don't like them. Now, I used to like them more, but nowadays I just think they're pretty mad, right? They don't look good, they don't taste good, and I don't feel like they live up to the Reese's name, and I think that's a super huge shame. To understand why the old cereals were coming back to be new again, we have to understand why they changed in the first place. One thing that's super important to mention, and if you guys don't know, the cereal companies have not been shy about it. Cereal sales have been on decline steadily since 2010, and they pretty much plateaued in 2007. So since 2010, cereal companies are begging you to buy their cereal. They wanna know anything they can do to get you to wake up in the morning and say, I want tricks for breakfast today. But they don't know what to do to make that a thing, right? So as you saw earlier, that's why they have the goals to change from being artificially flavored and colored to all natural ingredients. Because they think cereal suddenly going from being unhealthy to like this healthy quote unquote breakfast is the key. And I do not agree. Cereal companies know people want to wake up, they're going to have their yogurt, they're going to have their protein shakes, they're going to have their smoothies, they're going to have their food that they buy on the way to work. But cereal is not a portable dish. People want to have an easy breakfast that they don't have to work for. If I could drive in my car and eat cereal, I would do that. But we all learn from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia that's not a smart thing to do. I'm Sandra. Dumb bitch. So that's a big reason why cereals are changing. They're just grasping for anything they can to get you to buy cereal for breakfast again. But you know, McDonald's did something similar. McDonald's introduced a ton of like healthy quote unquote items to their menu and w with hopes to get sales to increase. But guess what? Sales didn't increase. In fact, they pretty much just plateaued and stayed the same. And that's because like cereal, McDonald's is viewed as like a junk food brand. So people who go eat there are going there for the junk food pleasure. Like, I don't go to McDonald's to get a wrap or a salad. I go there to get French fries and terrible chicken nuggets because they're delicious, cheap, and I love the way they taste because how bad they are. Cereal is the exact same way. I eat cereal not because I, I wake up and think, wow, I would really love to have a healthy breakfast today. Let's go grab some Honey Nut Cheerios. It just, that's not it, and I'm sure you don't either. And then you can think about, well, what about the healthy cereals? Isn't that market doing good? Well, I have an argument there is that even healthy cereals are not very healthy. Like take Kashi Golin, for example, right? This is the Toasted Berry Crisp. It's plant protein multigrain cluster cereal with cranberries and blueberries. You're probably like, wow, that sounds super healthy, right? It's on the front, it says nine grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, and 16 grams of whole grain. But take a look at the side. This has 11 grams of protein per serving, 11. 11 grams, which is if you take Captain Crunch, <laughs> For example, Cabin Crunch has 11 grams of sugar. Well, maybe it's not just this one. Let's take a look at the other Kashi organic blueberry clusters, 
right? Same thing, but this one also 11 grams of sugar. Five grams of protein, so yeah, there's more protein here, but the ratio for like a healthy thing is like more protein than cereal. Right? You want majority protein, then carbs and then fats, typically. And this is just, oh, here you have 42 grams of carbs, five grams of protein and 2.5 grams of fat. Is that a healthy breakdown? It's not. Now Nature's Path has the same thing, right? It is 25 grams of carbs, one gram of fat and two grams of protein. Healthy? No, not really. I mean, if you compare that to like a protein shake, which is about 110 calories and like 30 grams of protein, uh, that's an insane difference, right? And you don't get any of the fat or, or hardly any of the sugars, if any of the sugars, because most of them are artificially sweetened anyway. Healthy cereals, I don't think is a good argument because look at Oreo, for instance. People know Oreos are not healthy. In fact, Oreos were like equally as unhealthy as cereal, as you saw in my Oreo O's review. And I rush to the store every time I see they announce a new flavor because I want the new Oreo. Is it gonna be as good as the regular one or, or any of the other ones I enjoy so much? I don't know, but I love it because it's a treat. I go and get Oreos so I want something sweet and delicious that I don't have to worry about. And there's not a single natural thing in there. They don't spell cream the same way. They, they don't, it's all artificial flavors. It's vegan purely because of how unnatural it is. And I, I think that's hilarious and I don't not support it because I love Oreos. It's just, how are they the number one cookie in the world and still like this unhealthy brand? You know, companies like General Mills and Kellogg's, you gotta take notice, Post, you too. <laughs> we can't forget about Post even though we want to sometimes. For example, last night I went out, I wanted to have a healthy dinner, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna go get a veggie smoothie. I went out, hung out with my friend, got a veggie smoothie, and I came home, I was like, man, I want something sweet. But what should I have? So I grabbed the Halloween crunch I just bought and I ate basically the entire box. I'm like, I'm gonna save that for later to say I didn't eat an entire box of cereal tonight. But that's what I did, right? And that wasn't a healthy, that was a, that was a sugary indulgence that was like, I shouldn't eat just a bag of Oreos. Let's go to cereal. And if you calculate, like once you throw in milk to cereal, there's like 12 grams of sugar per serving in milk, plus like eight grams of protein. And uh, maybe I have those numbers mixed. Either way, it's just more fat, sugar, and sugar that you don't need, and it's not healthy. So cereal companies, stop trying to be healthy. Sure, have your healthy side, right? Everyone wants to think they're not as bad, and I think it's not bad to have classic tricks next to regular tricks, but I don't wanna eat cereal because it's healthy. I eat cereal because it's a treat, because it's sweet, and because I wake up and I get excited that I have cereal. Like, have you been shopping to the store, picked up a cereal, and you were gonna go home and make tacos for dinner, but you're like, wait a minute, I just have that new apple cinnamon toast crunch, and I wanna eat that for dinner, and I don't have to do anything besides pour milk into it to eat it. Yeah, that's when I eat cereal, and, and, or, or anytime, but that's the same reason. It's like, oh, it's easy, it's, clean for the most part, I don't, have to make, I don't have to make a ton of mess, and I like it. To sum it up, cereal is not healthy, and it shouldn't pretend to be. And I think we all can agree that if cereal were like this healthy thing, we wouldn't enjoy it as much as we do. Because I could eat plenty of healthy oats for breakfast, but I don't because it's not a fun thing to eat, let alone cook and all the other mess and stuff. But with the return of classic tricks coming this October, I am so excited. What about you guys? Are you gonna try this stuff? I know I'm gonna pick it up and compare it right to the regular tricks. That's gonna be a thing you're gonna see here. What other cereals would you like, would you like to see return to their natural form? I know Reese's Puffs is a big one. Uh, for me, I can't even think Cocoa Puffs. Like, Cocoa Puffs used to be good, right? Like, I swear to God, Cocoa Puffs were good once upon a time, but they're just not good anymore. They don't taste like chocolate, the milk isn't very good afterwards, and I want those back. What about you? And like. When do you eat cereal and why do you eat cereal? Because, you know, for me, like I said, it's because it's sweet and it's a treat, not because I'm trying to watch my calories or I know a lot of people eat cereal because of the carbs. They're like, yeah, I need to get tons of carbs to hit my macros today, so I'm eating a ton of cereal. If you go to Instagram and just look up cereal, you'll see giant, huge, massive bowls filled with Oreos and chocolate. It turns into this crazy cocktail of cereal that I couldn't even imagine wanting to eat, but people do that all the time. Anyways, sound off in the comments below. Remember, click like, subscribe, and we'll talk again soon about more cereal. All right, guys, have a good day, and uh, thank you. Bye.